Thank you to Factor for sponsoring this video. More on them after the reaction. Citizens of the oh. Reject Nation, how are you today? We are sitting down to watch Dawn of the Dead for the first, first time. time. How are you feeling about the Dawn and the Dead? I'm very excited to finally see the movie I have seen mentioned on so many of those list shows that used to populate VH1 and the like. It also feels like a very John movie. <laughs> yeah, I feel like, yeah. 30 Days a Night was a John movie in its genre and a Koi movie in its source material. This, however, is a John movie in its source material and genre, but a Koi movie in its creator because right. it's written by James Gunn, directed by Zack Snyder, so the DCEU oh. and the DCU make it a zombie baby coming at you. Very, excited, very excited, excited about it. Please leave a comment below. Let us know what you think of Dawn of the Dead. I, for one, am very excited because I love James Gunn's writing. Big fan of it and Snyder's directorial stylings. Can't wait to see what those two look like together. Please hit that like if you're a fan of Snyder or Mr. James Gunn. That way we know. And also, if you're a fan of us, let us know. The like button is to let us all know everything is liked. Please subscribe. Please hit that notification bell. And please do all the things that other YouTube people tell you to do that I always forget because YouTube has many buttons to press. Press them all, press them all. except the X that closes this out because you want to watch this video. Thank you, as ever, to Prepper for editing down these highlights. You prep us for victory, and we appreciate you. That's right. Also, if you want to see us reacting with every moment, resting faces included, Head on over to Patreon where you watch this front to back, beginning to end, the whole shebang. And also over at Patreon, there are exclusive videos that John and Greg do only, only over, over there. there. Teas like these are available oh, at RejectNationShop.com well. too, just in case. Just in case you want to well, support the channel. It's a lot of options. A lot of options. I mean, look at these teas. Frankly, immaculate. And if you want a tea just like these, you can head on over to RejectNationShop.com. Without further ado, let's get into Dawn of the Dead. I don't know if I know that company. Oh, I love Strike. The strike averse baby. <laughs> you, me, Gary, Brad, we'll be teeing off at... Well, I like Gary. <laughs> we'll be teeing off at 7.30, oh. and if you're not there because of Gary, well, come on, you know? I gotta go. <laughs> Sarah Polly. Oh, it is. Why did Dr. Cho order a head x-ray when the man was bitten on the hand? Uh, the patient was in a bar fight. He was communicative when he was admitted at 6 o'clock at 6 o'clock a.m. Oh. This morning, that's when I started my shift. <laughs> they moved him. I'm sure one of the night nurses can tell me when you find him. Ugh. American healthcare systems, go. That's a clever way to establish that he's no longer communicative, head trial, like, you know, the, all the zombieist stuff. Yeah. Edward Solomon? Yeah. Aren't you off? An hour ago. Ugh. It's okay. You're doing the Lord's work. They had him backwards. Solomon Edward, he's upstairs in ICU. From a bite? Toxicology is going to work him up in the morning. Can you do me a favor? Can you page Dr. Dandor on the yeah. Sure. You uh, talk to Lewis about Sunday? Uh oh. I will. <laughs> get out, get out. What's going to happen on Sunday that we're definitely going to see happen? Oh, oh. yeah, she'll totally make it to that. <laughs> yeah, the way they're building up the outbreak. Even oh, that, in these... that, that felt like a Romero shot to me, like old school. I wonder how much Snyder like, plays with that in this. Hey. Ooh. Let's go. It's starting early. Is that Philly? No. Not everywhere is Philly coy. No, no, Philly. And I was like going to say Greg Philly. And... came back from Colorado. Oh, okay. Philly and Nathan Philly. Yeah, I got as far as the. And I realized it wasn't him. <laughs> is everywhere Philadelphia? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Where's Will Smith? Is that not the beaches? Oh, wow. Ooh. Would not want that life. Live that cookie cutter life, baby. It's like Edward Scissorhands ish. Hey, Vivian. Hey, look, I can go backwards. Oh, I see. Hmm. Hey, that's amazing. Maybe tomorrow after work, I'll do a few backward laps around the block with you, okay? Yeah, make some donuts. Good suburban establishment. Yeah. Vibe of the town. You're late. You missed it. You just cut the mailman loose. No, Richie. <laughs> oh, my God. He had such a sweet voice. I can't believe that. Oh, Richie. you're an American idol in our hearts, Richie. I'm trading shifts with Cora, so if I take Sunday, I can have a three-day weekend at the end of the month. Hey, you're going to need it. It's going to go down Sunday. What well, missed date night? <laughs> American Idol? Hey, man. This is sizzling right now. No place <laughs> I'd rather be. There oh, we go. There we go. Date night. It's an efficient date night, too, because she's been working all day. Yeah, 13 hour shift. This special news bulletin. We will return to our regularly <laughs> scheduled programming immediately following this report. Wow, and this is happening right oh, that's underneath so her nose. So funny. Yep. The bite, the warning. Ugh. Very curious to see what this is going to be like, given that it is like early Snyder. So, like, how much of his isms are going to be? How much did he establish here? Yeah, how much of his visual language is? And this is like two years after Scooby Doo, for Gun. 
Oh my god! Right? Nah, well, what a, a double feature! Oh, dude, got to see Scooby Doo. <laughs> Scooby's great. That movie holds up fantastic. Vivian's here. Oh, oh, it starts with a kid. Oh, I had sleep paralysis like this once. Oh. Yeesh. Oh, no, no, no. Oh. Call an ambulance. Ah! Right away. Ooh. ooh, ooh. Ah! Oh, nice. The stretch of the skin. Ooh. Ah. Ah. <laughs> like right up to her feet. Oh, she's a doctor, so she tried to help, but. Yeah, put some pressure on it. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. Now it's via bite, but I wonder if you get infected via the blood too. Yeah, we gotta learn the lore, the yeah. rules. Every zombie movie got its own rules. Oh, wow, jeez, man, that arterial spray. <laughs> oh, this emergency. Oh, oh, no. Wow, they turn quick in this. Lewis, what are you doing? Lewis. <laughs> That's smart too. I, I, was, I was just. Whoa! What a stunt! Yeah. Oh my god. Ow. <laughs> no, thank you. You want these movies to go hard, but we just got here. We just started. How does it maintain this pace for 80 minutes? You gotta use the thing. Use the, 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 the thingy. I don't don't think he went anywhere. What are you doing? You're smarter than this. You're a nurse. It's actually a prequel to Splice. So after this, she's going to go on to create genetic mutations. I mean, not. naturally, yeah. after seeing what she's seen. <laughs> no. Lewis. He's all better now. Yep. <laughs> oh, here's oh, here's Louis. Johnny shot. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Whoa. Ow! Whoever her stunt double is, great is work. Phenomenal, yeah. It's great casting too. I was just about to ask what the what Lewis's name was, what that actor's name was. Get back, Anna. Ugh. Get back! Jesus, just tell me what's going on. I told you to get back. She's she's back. Oh. <laughs> yeah, the second they cut to that wide and you hear the sirens, I'm like, oh. Oh, what a shot. Damn. All overnight. Be so hard to someone you cared about. Yeah. Yeah, it's like that guy's a recognizable actor, so you feel like he would make it or he would be one of the people at that least, at least get to the yeah, get location to be on the journey. that turns into the. <laughs> Look at that. Oh my God. <laughs> that was a great shot. Oh, it just take so off good. forever. Wow. Add the locked off on, on the front of the hood. Information for five Milwaukee information for local evacuation centers. If you live in Waukesha County. Whoa! Help! St. Yeah. Church, 22, Robin. I don't yeah, I don't trust anybody. I'm sorry. What does help even mean right now? <laughs> the lock off is so effective. Yeah. No activity where you live. Stay in Great use. Oh, it's like a video game. Oh. <laughs> Practical stunts, practical sets. Please stay inside and lock all doors and windows. Jesus. Oh, that escalation of stakes is genius because it's one vehicle. Still being reported in the area of And the great room. choices of when to be like really close yeah. up and in perspective versus really far out. Ominous world building and then like intensity. <laughs> oh, a bus would be terrifying. Jeez, man. Jeez. Yeah, man. You should just oh. come in and grab people. Ah. Oh, now she's trapped. Something had to happen. Oh. <laughs> and now nice. we're in the movie. Ooh. Wow. Wow. Not. Bad. Is it a virus? We don't know. Oh. How does it spread? Is it airborne? Airborne is a possibility. Is it? Is it a fungus? <laughs> it's got to be fungus. Is it a national health hazard or a military concern? 
both. <laughs> yes. Are these people alive okay, or dead? Our... Let's go, man. I haven't seen him in a minute. We don't know. Is that true? There's a man going round taking the great me. needle drop. <laughs> I hope that was in gun script. That feels like a gun choice. Sure. Everybody oh, listen, will I, be treated I watch the all the same. Wow. It makes me wonder because I mean they're both needle droppers. They're both, yeah, they're both yeah. very much like make this catchy here. Yeah. <laughs> And they both know how to choose the opening title song. Yep. And they're both great at montages. Like Times They Are Changing. Uh, Smashing Pumpkins and Watchmen. Sure. This is also one of my favorite tropes of the zombie genre is the garbled news footage medley. Yeah. Aggressive world building. Denise Cronenberg. Wonder if there's any relation. Oh God! <laughs> Two. I feel like this is around the time where, like, any sort of public panic or military action in movies like this, and this is an R-rated movie, but even in PG-13, like, stuff just started to get a lot more gritty and a lot more like Intense. informed by real news footage, yeah. which always unsettles me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> His name that said on him was Death. <laughs> what a effective use of Johnny Cash. Yeah. I gotta say, like, so far this is composed. <laughs> yeah, fair. Just did a lot in 15 minutes. Yeah. That, that might be one of my favorite, like, zombie movie openings. Say something. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Not giving up on you today. <laughs> Ooh, what graffiti. Oh, and she's shoeless. Oh, no. Oh, that's right, yeah. <laughs> she just ran outside the, yeah. from the bedroom. <laughs> All right, okay, put the guns down. What are you doing? Come on, he's a cop. <laughs> he's a Mackay sentient Pfeiffer. person. <laughs> he can see and talk. Well, we got pregnancy, we got no shoes, a lot of stakes. You do not want to go that way. Huh. He got red on you. <laughs> What's that way? You do not want to go that way. <laughs> you tell me what I want to do. It's pretty bad. What about Fort Pastor? Maybe if you had wings, the road stick with those monkeys that way. How do you know? We just tried. How hard did you back try? I was eight of us. Oh, back who? Uh. We're going to the mall. You got a shopping montage. You know, mall would be a great place to hide out. True that. A lot of everything, a lot of stock, strong walls, conceptually. Good place to live out your... Final Last days. moments of love, you know, I, maybe you know, in an arcade setting or something I'm a, like I'm that. I'm a big fan of commerce. I want to <laughs> do a little shopping. But like clothes, food. Oh, boy. I'm also very curious to see how the movie uses the mall. I feel like that's one of the iconic things <laughs> about the original. But I like the logic in it. Oh, sure. Yeah. yeah I always that. wanted to see a Jackie Chan movie at a mall. I'm just going nuts, store to store, different stuff. <laughs> okay. Jackie Chan, mall cop. Yeah. I'm so excited Mackay Fiverr's in this. I have no idea. It is Don't Worry, Be Happy on the speaker. <laughs> Excellent. Nice permeating silence, too. I would immediately try to find shoes at the mall. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You'll never need shoes again. Like, you, you need them in this environment. Ah, uh, yes. and Also look less like a zombie. And a tap, yeah. Also, that's like her guy's blood. Oof. Out damn spot. I'm going to see if the doors over this way are locked. Maybe, officer, you could go down that direction, check for... <laughs> Good right here. Maybe it's better you stay here with a gun. <laughs> yeah, protect the gun. <laughs> Now's the time to get that jersey. <laughs> it's also a great way to have a limited cast for budget. Yeah. Set it in the mall, isolate them, zombie up. Endless product placement opportunities. True. Very good point. Commerce. What were the last brands before it all <laughs> fell down? <laughs> we're employees there. We're going to have a jersey-clad zombie. Yeah. 
There's the Foot Locker zombie. Foot Locker the, stripe the zombie. Stripes, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Referee zombie. Referee. He's got such a like a, a more day to day Tim Roth vibe. The, yeah, this dude. Yeah, it's like Jim Roth. <laughs> Kmart Tim Roth. No disrespect, guy. It's T I M B. <laughs> Tim Roth. <laughs> I love that the this exact style of clothes is back. Yeah. Let's find something to board these up with, man. Yeah, those aren't gonna make much. <laughs> oh. Ugh. Oh. Shadowproof asshole. Oh, let's hope so. The guy kind of looked like uh, Kuj Cooks or whatever that dude's name is. Oh yeah, that too. The zombie guy. With the mustache. Yeah. <laughs> oh, please, yes. Please, cricket a zombie. Please, let's let's get some croquet. I don't know if I'd get rid of the crowbar, though. <laughs> yeah. It is very video game logic. <laughs> yeah. Replace weapon. Oh, man, you missed a spot. I want right through. Oh. Well, you know it. You can hear it. Uh-oh. What are you doing? What are you doing? Mislead. Oh, nope. Nope. Sam. Oh, no. Oh, ow. When that zombie turned around, it was almost like the first Resident Evil game. Ooh. I guess he felt responsible for clearing the room, but like, bro. Door's locked. Just, they're closed yeah. anyway. Just leave it closed. Oh, no. Yeah, come on, man. Ah. Ah. Ooh. Ooh. Oh no. Oh no. Do not tell me. Jeez. Ooh. Oh. Ah. He's very strong. Yeah. Oh. Oh, nice shot. Nice little Dutch on that gun. Yeah, and a close up Dutch. Ooh. Damn. Double tap him, get him in the head. Big double tap, always double tap. Work the killer. Let's go, let's go. <laughs> and I like that we did get a moment to explore a little bit. Before you know? it all went down again. Like, I'm worried about Ving. I feel like a zombie movie in particular has to be like a good playlist between the ebbs and flows of energy. Yeah, because we couldn't have sustained the opening. <laughs> yeah. I see that arm. I need to suture that. <laughs> I hope they all saw how he got that. Yeah, it's visually not a bite, but... Oh. Hey. Find some place else. Look, we just need a place. Maybe you didn't hear me. Love that guy. There is no place else. Yeah. This is our place and you can't stay here. And you already trashed Metropolis. What? <laughs> Those things are down there. Well, these are all your problems, not mine. If I put my foot up your ass, would that be your problem? <laughs> I'm the one pointing the gun at you. He's a cop, CJ. And that still matters. <laughs> We're not going to cause any trouble. Just let us stay here for a little while, please. Say so you're a nurse. People need nurses. Mm -hmm. Show value. Come out of there slowly and give your weapons. Nope. You must be out of your fucking mind. You can take your ass on over to the Quality Inn if it's still there, Shaq. <laughs> Jeez, man. I'm going to give them their gun. Ugh. This really does feel like a video game, too, in a lot of ways. Like I wonder how conscious that was. Yeah. Because Resident Evil was huge in the early 2000s. Sure. And then you get like Left 4 Dead and all that kind of yeah. stuff. The more like freewheeling and zombie movie-esque, but more like fun, like choose your type of character kind right. of games. Yeah. And the lockout shots in the car, very much so. Like, Is there a restaurant? No, you're staying here. So then why don't you tell us what spot in here you'd like us to take a piss? Yeah. Pick a corner. <laughs> it's around the corner that way. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Where do you think you're going? She's not going anywhere alone. No, she's not going anywhere. This is a... Nursery school. Terry, go with him. <laughs> and make sure you got your hall pass. I'm worried about Mackay Pfeiffer. He's too good. <laughs> yeah. They're going to take out whoever's the wholesomest. Oh. Yes. Yes. They seem to go down permanently when you shoot them in the head. Then you got to burn them. You gotta oh. Hey, Danny. Put Savini. Put another woman over there. Amazing. Look. She's a twitcher. <laughs> now that is one cool mother. Oh no. Bleeding's not gonna stop on its own. I need to stitch his arm. Oh boy. 
fucking doctor? <laughs> no, I'm a fucking nurse. Yeah, get her right, man. These people that were putting down first aid kits in the security office. Yeah, dude. It's got to be done. <laughs> Puts on sunglasses. That's a great flourish, too, because, like, in, you know. America always sorts its shit out. And who inspires them? Like, literally, the bar is set at that madness. America sorts its shit out. You know, you're lucky. They could have bitten it off. But yeah, like, there's always a news broadcast running. Tom Savini made his own version of Night of the Living Dead. Like, it's totally like a. In universe reference, little Easter egg. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just of the dead slash Romero at all reference. <laughs> so there's a whole universe of this, right? Like they they kept going like three of the original. Uh, night, dawn, and day at least. Okay. And then Romero, I think, did more. He did Diary and other things later. But it's all shared. Like it's all one. Kinda. Okay. It's not the most interconnected stuff, but you know they're Nick, all. Yeah. Nick Fury doesn't collect the zombies at the end of Forms. <laughs> yeah. No. We have multiple search and rescue teams out there, and they will find you. Oh, my brother's there. Oh. He's waiting for me. Of course he is. Tommy's out there. Oh. Yeah, she got shoes. Finally. I feel better about it. Oh. What's the hold up, darling? Oh, just some light trauma is all. Just trying to cope with the world being zombified. So what's the plan? The plan is you drink a nice tall glass and shut the f*** up. <laughs> <laughs> you really get off on your power position as security guard. <laughs> Sooner or later, they're going to get in here. That's good. Like I hadn't thought of that. <laughs> you probably already thought about putting a sign up on the roof. Because, I mean, you know, there's, there's still planes in the air. Might be good. Let them know we're alive. <laughs> yeah, I, I thought of that. I thought of that right now. <laughs> this is my next move. Let me get some paint from Case Hardware. I need some office doors board at weak spots. That's a solid plan. <laughs> CJ, is it? Yeah. All right, CJ. Let's go. All right, everybody, listen up. I'm going to give everybody a job to do, and I expect you to do all of it. I don't want to see any half ass. <laughs> Why don't you start off by cleaning up that mess you made in Metropolis? This is a funny. <laughs> gonna That's keep where saying you should that, allocate your like, resources. Says Man of Steel, <laughs> Superman Legacy. It ah, was all faded. Ah. Zack Snyder knew. Ben! Look, he's a twitcher. <laughs> got that from the TV. TV says you gotta shoot him in the head. I told him not to go downstairs. Is that Ty Burrell? Is that his name? I think so. Whoa! Oh, Let's go. Milwaukee got them sharpshooter security guards. Yeah, I'm like, security had some different training where they're at. Yeah. <laughs> Growing up a lot today, son. Yeah, that one security guard's the only human amongst them. Not bad. <laughs> of course. What are they? Why are they coming here? Memory, maybe. Instinct. Unbeatable deals. <laughs> Black Friday. I look over there. Oh, a gun store. <laughs> oh, dang. Yeah, his name's Andy. <laughs> his name's Andy alone. <laughs> uh, he's alone. <laughs> but he owns a gun wo Emporium. Wo wo world. <laughs> Helicopter. Hey, it's coming. Fucking hey, man. All right, things about to escalate because there's got to be a reason they don't get out. Yeah. Hey! Come on, play the A team music. We're out of here. Oh, that's how it escalates. That's the helicopter from Army of the Dead carrying the, the treasure away. Oh, he did those Netflix ones. That's right. Yeah. We'll just wait for them to come back. <laughs> Live inside. Damn. I wonder if that's Those in any cool. way reactive to the don't open dead inside walking ah. dead motif. I don't want anybody sneaking around and stealing shit. <laughs> <laughs> that's your concern? Brenda? Yeah. Wow, he just locked him in. You guys know that, that chick at Dairy Queen. A fat one. She was coming over tonight. I would tap that shit for sure. Of course. Dude, everybody's dead. Your mom's dead. Brother's dead. That fat chick at Dairy Queen, dead. Jeez, man. Don't be so harsh about it. That sucks, too. How do you think your God <laughs> will judge you? <laughs> Tell me, Ken Forey. When there is no more room in hell, the dead. Fuck the 
Earth. Oh, he said it. Is that a thing? Is that I, like a trope? I think that's the tagline from the original movie. Oh, yeah, that's yeah. cool. When there's no more room in hell, the dead will walk the earth. And, they and do what a show perfect... Metropolis a lot for Gunn and uh, Snyder. It does I seem know. like a very interesting, fateful. Like uh, to sorry, watch this saying, now is yeah, it's, it's so like interesting in hindsight. Us. Like you know what's coming? Yeah. So first tagline was I he believe the one that yeah the it? original one yeah I don't know uh, no he's in that movie though yeah okay yeah, that's, that's cool. right he's in Dawn of the Dead that's, and so like that's so clever perfect actor to give it the gravitas but also yeah in universe reference tie in for us yeah hey dumbass. <laughs> The timer. It's eight o'clock. You need to watch, boy. Terry, go shut him off. It's Bart's turn. They're so good at making them like hateable, but there's so few people left alive. You care by default. Yeah. If somebody's working hollow ground. How hard is it to make a cup of coffee? I wanted a soy mocha latte with foam. <laughs> of course. Hey. What? Hallowed grounds coffee. The bathroom in here is fake. It doesn't work. I'll tell CJ. I'm telling you. You take care of this. Don't get your manager. You the type of cat that goes to church and all that kind of shit, right? <laughs> so what you think? What is this? Is this the end of times? It's a rapture. Zombies. No, I'm serious. I've done some bad things in my life. You saw hell yesterday. Now you scared of going to hell for all the bad things you've done. I tell you what. Go in the stall. Say five Hail Marys. <laughs> <laughs> Bless me, Father, for I have sinned. <laughs> you think I feel like I deserve to be here? Yeah. Yeah, well, I don't. And I'm cool with that. But you see, that's not it. I feel like I'm here to bring that baby on this earth and give it everything that I never had. Damn, okay. I just want the opportunity to change things. Now I'm really worried he's going to go in the next scene. Every scene, it's like the LL Cool J in Deep Blue Sea. You can't <laughs> yeah. make him only so likable. And then I worry. That was a good scene between them. That was great. I, like I am invested in him now. <laughs> Sketchy West Bentley. Ah, oh, come on, man. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah. Yeah, no, that's more no, concerning. No, 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 People trying to break in is going to just... How did you get out? You gave me permission to loot the goddamn stores. What are we going to do about that truck? Guys, to loot the stores. They just gonna change do anything clothes. about that truck. There's people in it. And how do you know they're not all stuffed like everybody else out there? Yeah. Start letting people in here. And we're going to let the wrong ones in. And then I'm dead. And you know what? I don't want to die. Let the right ones in. We're the wrong ones. Nobody here is sick. And I intend on keeping it that way. Look, I just think we should... I did not ask for your opinion, lady. Now, if you want to argue with me, you can argue with this. You can't just turn them away, CJ. You'll kill them. Yeah. I'll kill each and every one of you to stay alive. You hear me? I said get the gun out of my face. You got quite a mouth on you. Somebody should show her how to use it. Yeah, yeah, yeah this guy needs to go. That guy got to go. Is there a holding cell in there? Yeah. Back in the security room. Yeah, West Bentley. You're gonna get us all killed, dumbass. <laughs> yes, yeah, security outside. guards stick together, man. We were at, we had a code. We took the oath. I was waiting for that to happen. I'm glad it happened. Now I'm worried about them letting in the wrong people because they feel like it's the right thing to do and yeah. them being right in their own way. Guy, yeah, uh, if everything goes to shit, salvage as many big whiteboards and paint cans as you can. <laughs> Why is she backing up the truck? My God! Whoa! Jesus, man! They have like a, a truck full of people or something? Yeah, I'm wondering, or just the best way to offense? Yeah. Change your plan. I'm gonna open the door. Ugh. Okay. One, Ugh. two. Don't do it, man. Three. Two. Oh, man. Yeah, I was <laughs> staring at that thing. I was like, <laughs> oh, my God. Oh. Oh, man. Shoot him in the head! Yeah. Get out of okay, there. okay, 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 yes. Go, 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 go. Uh, <laughs> Y'all are gonna need to go to Gun World. Do not leave again. Oh. Hello. Thank God, I couldn't stay in that truck anymore. Oh, no. Why? She clearly... She got, yeah, big ass. Uh. Can you help me with... So what's your name? Sorry. Uh, Glenn, uh, yeah, sure. Just give me a second to collect myself, okay? Give me a brown paper bag to breathe into, okay? They immediately did the thing they shouldn't. Yeah. I don't understand the in-movie logic of that choice. It helps you realize. Yeah. They know it's bites. <laughs> that is That's Ty Burrell. Phil Dunphy is no straight guy. Did you hear that from the same jackass who told us to go to St. Verbena? Church downtown? It's the first place I went. Some dipshit on the radio said it was safe there. He was wrong. <laughs> Whose rig is that? It's mine. You mind if I borrow it? I'm not using it, officer. <laughs> Forget the truck. That place is man. Bloodbath City. How do you know? We just came from there. Oh. 
Is everyone there dead? Yeah, in the sense that they all sort of <laughs> uh, fell down and then I'm look for myself. I'm not gonna make it. Got up. Oh man, no. Right now, it's about one foot out there. Started eating each other. <laughs> Please, there's people here right now could use your help. Yeah, you are like <laughs> you are like the best character in the game right now yeah man. <laughs> you are the most powerful character with authority it's nice to see that you've all bonded through this disaster <laughs> thanks man you're gonna be fun to shack up with yeah what is that other guy's name like i see yeah, him I, and i, I always get him confused with tyberell funny enough <laughs> him and chris messina and that other guy who's the mayor in the Snarky dark night in a charming <laughs> way guys yeah info oh that's smart the sign <laughs> hey come on Andy <laughs> <laughs> depends on who you talk to I guess that's so funny what's the bad news need anything uh, we're, we're fine don't worry about us he's got a bite on his hand dude keep having to remember that they don't know but also <laughs> that's good right She's half zombie now. Yeah, dude. I've never seen an infection this bad that didn't come with a fever. That guy's arm looks pretty bad over there. You should probably check it out. I know they need tension. And I wish there was an explanation of why you'd let people that were half zombie. It doesn't make you feel like there would be a scene. They don't hurt much at all. Tucker could use you more than I could. His, his ankles cut pretty bad. God, it's character actor city over here. You okay? <sighs> Ma'am, can, can I get you something? Like, like a glass of water? <gasps> no. Oh. Oh, where she goes. Anna? Anna, come here. Oh, 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 bad. Uh, That's not good at all. Oh, don't get close, Art. Double tap, double tap, double tap. Guys, do you want to move into the other room? Oop. Uh, yep. You knew that was coming. Uh, <laughs> is this how they find out, maybe? Like, don't uh, let people be. that bite in? Good thinking on your feet. <sighs> I guess being a nurse must prepare you for all sorts of just like surprise situations. Also, if you know the headshot works, you'd intuit that. I think it's the bites. Well, yeah. Frank said she was walking on her own when she got in the truck five hours ago. Bites killed her. Bites brought her back. How do you know? I watched it happen. I felt her pulse. She was gone. Yesterday I saw the same thing happen to somebody else. I guess that is the in-movie logic, but it happens so fast with him. So who else in the group has been? Frank, yeah. for sure. What about the one with the foot? Tucker? He says no, he fell. Nah, let's get that shoe off. So we have to quarantine him right away. Where exactly do we do that? <laughs> I don't know. There must be some place to keep him in here. It's too dangerous to keep him around here. I don't know if I've seen this dude before, but I really like him. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's a good, like, leading man. He's captivating. Are we talking about killing him? Would you rather we waited for him to die and then he tries to kill us? He's got a daughter! I'm sorry. Wow. You just Let him right back out? Point. I don't think there's any other choice. Like, do you... Uh, it's gonna happen either way. He's got like that, not B movie in a bad way, but like old movie, like dialogue line that shouldn't work but works. Yeah. Delivery going? It's gotta be a word for that. Is this true? Are you here to kill him? You've been bitten. It's only a matter of time. No, no, no. Leave my dad alone. Oh boy. Go ahead, kill him. Hey, kill Tucker too. Wait a minute. <laughs> I was never bit. I can't be sure. Do it, Michael. Wow, man. Are you sure it's the bite? No. She's sure. <laughs> Pretty damn sure, yeah. <laughs> Smart placement, so it's peeking out slightly, so you feel that uncomfortable tension of it, like yeah. seeing it. Ah, oh, <laughs> Dad. That's so bittersweet. Andre, I can't have baby here. People have been having babies for millions of years, all on their own. Mm. <laughs> it's moving. I feel it. So now we gotta come up with a name for this baby. I want the Russian name. Well, don't start that again. African name. Combine it to make an Afro-Russian name. Yes. What would that even be? I would love to hear that. Oh, is he going to turn as soon as... God, the circle. Oh, he's of, looking rough. Circle of life right here. Yeah, one, the one end of a life, begins, the beginning of another one. One family crumbles of all. It's interesting not seeing the Snyderisms yet, but seeing like some of the frames feel like Snyder, but not the shots. Like the moving shots don't feel like him. Yeah, this but is. But the frames, you know what I mean? Remarkably void of most of his main recognizable flourishes, which is really kind of cool. Yeah. <laughs> To see them form over time and... Because it's still a stylish movie. Yeah, but it's stylish in a different way. Oh, no. You what? That's why you cast that guy. Yeah. Every single second. It's a 
least we can do. <sighs> oh, that'd be so hard. I don't know. Oh. I'm glad you didn't do it. Ooh, somebody else did. You know, they, they gave him time. <laughs> Wait for that, yeah. Oh, what a, <laughs> what a button. Wow. Oh, what a button. They cast this guy so well. He's so interesting and he said nothing. Get up, come on. Ah, uh, <laughs> yes. Oh, I love it. Is this disturbed is cheese? As done by. <laughs> wow. Let's get down. The sick. Get up, come on, get down. Oh, that's so funny. Sometimes disturbed is reused. Interesting. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good choice. The world is a God, and look how. What a fun way to escalate the stakes. Yeah. Comedically. She came in with that. Yes, my dude, live your best life, sir. It's the end of days. Try things. <laughs> How long have they been at this? Respect. Ty I was like, who's? <laughs> Jesus. Yep, yep. I raise you two ziggies. I mean, this is what you do the last days at a golf. I mean, uh, at a mall. Sure. Even he's having a little fun. But you know, you'd have food, you'd have merch. Yeah. Oh. You got him. <laughs> Jay Leno. <laughs> oh, that's dark. What are we that's doing the new game is who they get. Oh, who they look like. Yeah, of course. Oh my God. Yeah, tell him, uh, tell him to get Burt Reynolds. Oh my oh, God. How that's... fast humanity fades. That has to be a James Gunnism. Oh, this definitely feels like James Gunn. <laughs> dark. Man, he's good. Barely even look like him. <laughs> Rosie O'Donnell, tell him to get Rosie. Oh yeah, Rosie. Nah, too easy. Give him something hard. You guys had really rough childhoods. <laughs> you have my permission. If I ever turn into one of those things, do me a favor. Blow my head off. Oh yeah, you can count on that. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, Andre, how's Luda doing? She's fine. Aww. I'd like to uh, drop by and check on her and just see how she's doing. No, thanks. She's fine. You sure? Yeah, I'm sure. Are oh, was that cut not a cut? Yeah, what's up? What's up, man? See? <laughs> What a great little endearing side sort of character. Side story, side character. Again, it's like a video game. Like you'd meet that guy, he'd be yeah. doing his own. <laughs> okay, worst job. I know which job I was the worst at, being a husband. That's not a Aww. job. It sure is. But <laughs> <laughs> endearing moment. What were you best at? Divorce. Philandering. Being a dad. You got the m, &M complex. I like that we discover his backstory so late. <laughs> Oh my god! What? Is he about to have a zombie what? baby? He's got her restrained? Oh my god, dude. Oh. Going from like. They were just. I mean, I get. I, whimsically creative apocalypse scenario to. This. This is the most twisted thing you could think of. Again, circle of life. It's gonna be alright. Oh, what you. Our baby's on the way. It's coming. Wow, that is twisted. Keep him in a pen near the parking shuttles. Have fun. You're coming too. I said I'd tell you where the generators are. I never said I'd show you. You come with me or you go back in that cell. Oh boy. I ain't going anywhere without a gun. Do not <laughs> press them for a second. How about him, cowboy? Asshole. <laughs> You're the biggest asshole here, man. Except maybe Ty Burrell. <laughs> maybe. That's why I thought you were him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You coming with us? Nah, you coming with me. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. You know how to use that? This one's a dangerous end, right? <laughs> now it is. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Fing Reigns is so effortlessly awesome. Yeah. Some people are effortlessly cool. He's effortlessly awesome. Like, at all times. Well, because he's cool, but he's also, like, present. Like, when yeah. he was about to shoot that guy, you could tell he was moved. He didn't want to do it. Like Because cool implies a certain laid-backness that Ving Reigns isn't. But he's got the voice of Mella, but he's just got, he's like a, like a lion. Yeah. This is level one. We gotta walk down to three. Gotta get this squirrely guy's name. Almost Tyrell is so good in so many things, but I cannot place I him. No. Uh, this way. 
Another thing, too, I keep wondering is if they're going to have, like, some kind of super mutated monster thing. Like, how, like how, a Resident Evil big how boss? far out are we going to go here? In zombie lore. The of the dead movies are usually just zombies, but even that evolves. Yeah. Oh, oh. well. I just saw something. I didn't see shit, Bart. Shut the fuck up. That's not the attitude, man. Be not in this situation. more mindful. Oh, shit. Here it comes. Boom. Here comes the boom. Hey, doggo. Is it just a dog? Yeah, I was going to say, is it a Resident <laughs> Evil dog? What's wrong, boy? Something wrong. Don't that get dog's too comfortable. Oh! oh! Whoa! Whoa! Where did that come from? Oh! 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 Oh, wow! <laughs> Is he up there? Oh yeah, my well, god, no! No! Get out! Get out! Fuck! No! Oh, uh, you're gone, man. You're gone. Ah! Ooh! Them gates swinging right past the camera. <laughs> yeah! Ah! Ooh! Ah! Oh, hey! Some trust. Ooh. 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 Ah. Yeah. Let's go, Guzzoline. Ah. Ooh. My friends. Go, go, go. And get out of there. My lucky lighter. Woo. Go, go, go. They're about to be flaming zombies. Get out of there. Yeah. Jesus. Those stunt guys got paid that day. Those are crazy fire stunts. You're doing good. Breathe. You're doing good, baby. Oh. Damn. No. Uh-uh, dude. What are you doing? Come on now. Oh. No. No, 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 no. no, 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 no. A little chest burster. We getting the bell. No. Ew. Oh, so much. Oh, that is gross. So much. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, no. <laughs> if she gets out, he won't be able to stop her. Like, he, he won't. Yeah. Like, emotionally. Oh, man. Oh. What, are you just going to try and gag her with it? Yeah, what? I assume is that, right? Yeah. Get her to bite it. <laughs> He's got all this stuff from the baby place. Oh, this is so twisted. He's just trying to be a dad. I'm gonna go check on Luda. I haven't seen him in a while. Oh, I'll go. You sure? Yeah. Sweet old grandma, don't. No. Don't you do it. Ah! Uh, I don't know what you think it's gonna be, but it's not what you want it to be. Dude, you, this is, this is, yeah. This isn't the, the opportunity you were hoping for. She's a character actor, too. She's great. Oh. Smeet. Get your Smeet. Oh my God. Yeah. No. It's a girl. No. <gasps> oh, no. You going to kill Luda? You want to kill my family? Dude. Whoa! Oh no! God, those close-ups. Jeez. Oh. Ah. Oh. God, and look how tiny that bundle is. What happened? Oh no. She died of the gunshot. She wasn't bitten. She's gonna wake up though, right? Uh, we don't know, I guess. <sighs> Oof, I don't know. Don't tell me that baby is still like. Uh, oh, <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Oh, 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 they did. It. They did it though. Ah. <laughs> uh. Now I realize that there are some things worse than death, and one of them is sitting here waiting to die. Yeah. I saw a couple of buses in the garage. 
then get as far from here as possible. Oh, I have an idea. Um, while we're at it, why don't we swing by the marina and hop in my boat and take it for a pleasure cruise, you jackasses. <laughs> <laughs> How far is the marina? You're serious? Yeah, dude, it's not a bad idea. Yeah, it's a good idea. We have to pick up Andy. He's part of the group. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. You're suggesting that we take some parking shuttles and reinforce them with some aluminum siding and then just head on over the gun store where we watch our good friend Andy play some cowboy movie jump on the covered wagon bullshit. <laughs> Then we're going to drive across the ruined city through a welcome committee of a few hundred thousand dead cannibals, all so that we can sail off into the sunset on this <laughs> boat. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> I know a guy who's just like, reminds me so much of a friend of mine, Ty Burrell. Oh, yeah. man. Yeah. I'm in. Yes, let's go. Oh, my God. I was wondering what the third act escalation could be because it started so heavy. Yeah, I didn't expect late second act zombie baby murder, but man, I would yeah, I love to see the script for this. There's so m <sighs> there's so many things here that you can follow and play with, and the way that it's paced is interesting. It is very much a video game. There are a couple moments that feel like maybe a moment was a beat was missing or something, like a little bit, maybe one more beat between Mackay Pfeiffer and all that, yeah. and maybe one more beat between unloading the people with the bite and realizing they're bitten. But other than that, like. I would have liked a little bit ideas. more with Norma because she was so good. She's yeah, I feel. But bad. maybe that was why she was so good because we got her little tastes of like, oh, wholesome. Gotta leave them wanting more. But the mall, like, I feel like you could have used the mall a little bit more. Now we are again, but I really like the idea of like the montage mall chaos. Gonna have to watch the original Koi. Is there more mall goodness? I think so. It's been a while, a while since I've seen it, but uh, but I mean, it is this premise. Yeah. It's nice to see you busting your ass today. Oh, that's sarcasm. <laughs> that is awesome. Yeah, you know, I would love to help, but uh, the captain never works alongside his men. <laughs> wow. Some captain you are. Come on, boy. Hey. What's Chips got? Okay. Don't me again, okay? Just a little jacket. Damn, Chips. You got a little utility belt. This friendship is majestic. Yeah. How long, timeline-wise, they estimated in the script. Oh, yeah, my man's is looking gaunt. Throw him a can of something. So when those things are on the side of the bus, this will get them off. That is pretty sick. That might be the most romantic thing anyone's ever shown me. <laughs> You know, it also functions. Uh, never mind. Okay, right. no, I have an idea. We uh, we draw straws, and the loser runs across the lot with a ham sandwich. <laughs> Could you be a bigger <laughs> I think so, but you know what? That's irrelevant. That <laughs> Just never helping with it. Send the dog? Yeah. I have an idea. Stop, it's hurting him. No. Oh, boy. Look at me. They want us, okay? Chips is going to be fine. I sure as hell hope so. I mean, he had survived that long. Yeah. So maybe that is. Maybe they don't give a shit. See? Yeah, buddy. Look, he's, he's walking right by them. Oh, I love in zombie rules where they can make up rules and it's like, all right, yeah, sure. Oh. Go, buddy, go, buddy, go, buddy, go. Wowie. Good boy. Good boy, Chips. Damn. Damn. Yeah. Okay, he's there. He's in. Chips. No, 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 oh, man, they, they got him, they got him, uh, <laughs> no, hello, this thing working, yeah, I'm dinged up pretty bad, but I think I'm gonna be okay, where are you hurt, Andy, <laughs> damn, those bastards bite hard, yeah, is this Ken, uh, is that you, man, ugh, yeah, it's me, brother. Hey, man, good to hear your voice. I guess we're gonna meet up close pretty soon, huh? Oh, do you get rid of Hope, or...? Ah, Jesus, he got me good. <laughs> now, you, you just hang in there. Yeah. You got the food, right? Yeah. Do we tell him? No, just let him have Hope. See Nicole, Chip? No. Is Nicole? What the hell is that? Oh, my God, it's Nicole! Did she steal oh, one of the... Oh, damn it. No, dude. Uh, Did she do that to go get the dog? I bet. I mean, you love a dog. I bet. Damn, she got down there fast, too. Whoa. Uh, but she probably climbed down the ladder. Idiot's going after the dog. 
Oh, Nicole, no. She's in. But Andy's a zombie. I got you. Nicole, how's Andy looking? I don't know. There's a lot of blood in here. Wait a minute. I see him. He's on the roof. Oh, no. Oh, right. oh no, 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 no. Oh, no. He remembers. The autopilot. It is like, yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. Honey, listen to me. You need to find a place to hide. Can you do that? What do you mean? What's going on? Nicole? Oh, here's Andy. Oh, no. Oh, here's Andy. We need to do something. What? What? Are they all going to... Well, all right. Family? She's one of us, I guess. You need to stay here. Make sure that fire door stays open. Whoa, whoa, uh, wait, 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 wait. I'm sorry. Uh, why does he stay here while I go on the suicide mission to rescue Terry's... Already dead girlfriend. <laughs> yeah. Steve, don't f this up. Yeah. I like that he's in a suit for the big day. Yeah. <laughs> he's been in pajamas the whole time. Yeah. <laughs> you know, he's got to look good to captain it's, the ship, uh, you know. It's a big day. He's got to take pride in his job, in his duty. <laughs> oh, they're going under. That's smart. Should have thought of that before. Yeah. Could have gotten Andy out, you know, or got him food. Gonna have to be living down here soon enough. Mm-hmm. I don't trust this frame rate, though. <laughs> it's very intense. They're doing that. Oh, boy. <laughs> God, it feels like forever since we've been street level. Yeah. We haven't left the mall in some years. He's a man. Flat, damn. Go, 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 go. No, the gun. Yeah, the last one of the ones, last ones they had. If you weren't going right into a gunshot. Yep, otherwise. <laughs> can he fit through a doggy door? That Come is a large on, boy. Man. Please, please, please. Close it, close it, close it, close it. What do you need? What do you need? What do you want? Yeah, get as much as you can. Got any armor in here? Oh, you gotta take out Andy. Oh, I wonder yeah. if Ving wants to do it. Andy. Give him the mercy hey. shot. I'm sorry, brother. Oh! Whoa! <laughs> like a bisect. Wow! Nicole, we got to have there? a name, though. I'm here, I'm here. Yeah. Damn. Check her for bites, right? Yeah, this is bad. This is real bad. Yeah, that, that hole's exposed. At least it'd be like 10 at a time. <laughs> Look at him being selfless on his way out. Yeah, that's bad. Oh man, dude. Oh no. Oh, be so terrifying. At least he's going out. Yeah, going out strong. guns blazing. Wow. Shoot me. Shoot me. Yeah, mercy. That's a kindness. God damn, Steve Marcus. Yeah, dude. Oh, Come on, man. I want to be trusting them. Not not with this asshole, no. Oh. oh. Ooh. His faces, jeez. Oh. Go, 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 go. Thank you. Yeesh. Ugh. Yeah, get that spread. Moving, guys, Where are you guys going? Let's go right now. We're going. Go, 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 go. Oh, they, they couldn't get that door closed. They're in. 
Oh, oh man. Yeah, God, of course. <laughs> I hope they had like a bug out back plan in case this happened. Oh, of course. Come on. Come on. Come on. <laughs> it's a good thing that is a giant elevator. Yeah. Oh, God, <sighs> could you imagine? I like this song. Elevator music. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Take any song after that. Man. Oh man, I love the dog just being like artillery. Chips MVP. Wait a minute! Oh, oh, wait a minute. Man, get it. oh no! I'll take the gun. Okay. Oh buddy, it's okay. You guys have a reason to stay alive. Awesome. <laughs> Those are awesome. Yeah. Hold on. Yep. Wow. Oh my god. Uh, wow. God. Look at those vans shake. Let's go. Oh man. Oh snap. Smart. Like a whole propane tank. Smart. Pro. Pain. Oh, it is. Get it out. Yes. Far as you can. Ah! Give me your shotgun. Oh, yeah. That's a video game for that. Yeah, that 100% is. Ooh. 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 Damn. Whoa. Definitely some CG, but still a cool shot. First time. Still We've cool seen shot. a lot of CG. We've seen a little yep. bit. That was like yep. worth it. Whew. Now drive while they're distracted by pain. Yeah, floor it. Oh, keep momentum. All those abandoned everything's. Yeah, well, they only got the one battery oh. gram. Oh my Let's god. Hanging on. Which side? Right side. <laughs> oh, careful. So worried that might happen. What? We lost him. Back it up. Back it up. Back up. I love that he's the one that's paying attention to others. I know how far we've come. Oh man. Now we have the real Tyrell to be a bigger <laughs> asshole. <laughs> one of them has growth. <laughs> Is he not helping him up? Jeez, man. Wow. What is this dude's deal? Who are you, man? Why are you like this? <laughs> if anyone deserves it. <laughs> if anyone. CJ! At least the kiddo made it. See! Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> gets to, yes! Not bad, As dude. promised. Not bad. Go, 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 go. Oh, oh, look at that. That blue tint. What could she possibly be looking for? Oh, the keys, keys. the boat. Needs keys. Where's Adam? Hang up! Oh, no, come on. Oh, for the love of God, please. Please. Tip time if no one else makes it, please. Oh my oh, god, no. Did he get bit? No, 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 no. He no, might no. have to sacrifice himself. No. I will not accept any I more heartache. Might, I think it might happen. What the hell yep. are you doing? I don't know. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Still, he still looks lightly tanned. Yeah. I think he's okay. He's all right for now. But you never know, man. Adrenaline. That's true. You never know. Maybe he didn't notice. Oh, I'm worried. I'm, I grow concerned. Yeah, that's a real close up. Uh, that's a. Bad, oh no. That is not a good portent. Ooh. Oh, that wasn't the one you needed. Yeah. Oh my god. 
Yeah, just drive the van right into the bay. <laughs> <laughs> Good boy. Get out the end of the dock. CJ, come on. Do it, man. I'll catch up. Oh. Bitch. Wow. There's a Snyder slow mo. Oh, yeah. There's a little bit. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, Let shoots it. it. Up. Ah. Ooh. Man. Wow. What a commendable sacrifice for an asshole. Man. Yeah. Not bad. Rest in peace, man. Oh, man. I'm actually sad you're dead. I know. CJ really had an arc. They cast okay. him well. They did. All right. Downtown when they jumped on us. Oh, no, Michael. No. Uh huh. All right, Anna. I can help you. No, you can't. You can help them. Oh, poor guy. It will. Huh. Man, that's heavy. It's okay. This way, your love was perfect. You sure you want to do this? Yeah. I think I'll just stay here a while. Enjoy the sunrise. Huh. Poor every man. Oh. Jim Roth will remember you. Yeah. Tim with a B. Yeah, I think it's <laughs> probably probably the move. Oh, I'm empty. <laughs> Ugh. Ouch. Damn. <laughs> Man. What on what? <laughs> it's rated R. They're like, what? we're giving some to the end. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We uh we just survived a lot. Give give them Oh, this is finally we're going to learn. Explaining his villainous <laughs> origins. Who this asshole this is. monster was. <laughs> That's all they're going to have to watch now. Where did you get that? I found Steve's camera. You're going to surprise found footage sequel. Zack Snyder's Diary of the Dead. I feel like Guns used this song again, didn't he? It seems that way. Oh, no. Oh, God, no. What uh -uh. the? What? No. What do no, 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 no. Do not. No, no, no. no. Don't do. No. Yeah, how, you no. Stop no. helping. No. No. <laughs> oh my god, what? <laughs> Was that just for fun? They wanted to design a. a, a, a what else is on the. Oh. <laughs> the inverse of the opening expansion. Now it's getting smaller and things are going awfully wrong. Get the damn camera out of my face. Yeah. <laughs> Such a fascinating choice. Oh, what is that? Chips, no! Oh, Chips, what? What, Chips? What do we got? Oh, shit! What? Oh, what? Oh, oh, of course. Oh, no. Of course. Oh, no! No! Oh, <laughs> You will not be getting Zack Snyder's Survival of the Dead. Wow. <laughs> I think there's one that does take place on an island. <laughs> one of the later ones. And the original Disturbed Down to Sickness, not the cover, it now plays. Yeah. Man. Wow, dude. What an experience that was. Whew. Post-production sound least services. Tim Roth died with hope. He did, you know? He did. He died in every man's death, you know? Hoping he was selfless and helped others. He kept that classic, you know, old Hollywood leading man quality yeah. to the end. It's weird. It, it, this isn't exactly like The Mist, but there are aspects oh, of the this. Oh, the nihilism of The Mist, that sure. That remind me of The Mist. Is is he, is Ty Burrell like a, like a Girls Gone Wild guy? Oh, that'd be funny. Is he made he, his money off of, like, exploitating. Yeah. yeah, exploiting. Did he just make some kind of, like, yacht-based corn series? We never got CJ's name. Because no. uh, we were actually watching. He's just CJ now, forever. <sighs> Special thanks to the Center, Center for, for Disease, Disease Control. Control. Excellent. Excellent. Man. Well, I'm tired. 
I am too. They shot this on film? I guess this would have been back in the day. Oh, when uh, you could still do that. Convince someone to let you have film. <laughs> if your name isn't Christopher Nolan or Denis Villeneuve, you, do you not can get still film shoot anymore. film. Yeah. What a what a viscous film. What a squelches wetly film. Gooey. That was oh. uh, that that movie certainly squelched. That squelched hard, and you know what else squelches hard <sighs> is uh, our our wonderful videos. But there weren't that many product placements no, in this movie. Yeah, considering it was in a couple. mall, yeah. So even we like Kentucky get Fried Chicken uh, didn't. <laughs> yes. It was like PFK or something, something Fried Kitchen. We I were trying know. to figure out what that was. I don't Either know. way, they they really could have made their money back with marketing. They could have. And speaking of marketing, we got some. In the midst of movie and TV show reactions, leaving such a busy schedule around here, who's got time to prep gourmet meals? Well, that's where Factor steps in. Factor is a game changer, delivering chef-crafted, dietitian approved meals right to your door. It's not just about dinner. They've got your whole day covered with snacks, smoothies, and more. Whether you're into keto, vegan, pescatarian like myself, or just looking for something delicious and healthy, Factor has a variety of meals ready in two minutes flat. Imagine the luxury of gourmet meals without the hassle of prep or cleanup. It's like your personal personal chef making it easier to eat well amid our busy lives. And the best part, Factor's flexible to fit any schedule. Pick from 6 to 18 meals weekly, adjusting or pausing anytime life gets in the way. It's about making your life easier, giving you control and convenience without compromising on quality. With Factor's Gourmet Plus, even my hectic days get a gourmet touch. No more grocery runs, just pure deliciousness. So you ready to elevate your food game reject nation? Jump into factor75.com or click below with Real Rejects 50. You're in for a 50% off treat on your first box. Supporting them helps support the channel, but also supporting your health and time. Dive into the gourmet life, people. All right, gang. Well, we've done it now. Oh. We, we've, we, we saw the Snyder Cut. The Snyder Cut of Dawn of the Dead. And part of me is like, is there a three-hour version of this? I almost guarantee we... there is a longer. I wouldn't, I wouldn't assume it's a full HBO miniseries length, but uh, <laughs> man. Leave some. Leave a rating on Apple and Spotify if you're listening to the audio version of this uh, uh, review that's about to embark. But uh, but yeah, I do think there is a, a Snyder Cut lurking. It doesn't beg it, but there are a couple of aspects of this movie where I'm like, I bet there were more scenes there, Yeah, that there's you definitely shot. some trimming here. And I there bet that certain felt. characters probably got storylines that were excised. Mm -hmm. I think like the the girl. Uh, whose name I almost remember, uh, who's running after chips, the the, the young girl who yeah. like, loses her whole family. Like, I, I could James sense Gunn, there's probably a little bit more. He usually likes to write cut. people that are like seeking new families. That's kind of his yeah. thing. And, and we didn't really have that with her. Then it yeah, we been. didn't really get to peer into her character or the blonde woman who's there and the who older got, guy. Who got murked. The two with the, yeah, the two who got murked in the chainsaw thing. Yeah. We didn't really get to know them very well. And there's there are certain beats where you're like, ah, oh, yeah, I bet that they would have had a discussion before unloading all those people out of the truck and getting the woman with the bite into the wheelbarrow. We're like, oh, they might have. There might have been like a seed or two more with this whole zombie wife pregnancy scenario. <laughs> we could have also used a scene explaining why she didn't put two and two together. Because I really sure. like I guess she was altruistic. But not to man. start this video off with only gripes because I, I really enjoyed it. Like this was this was an enthralling and punchy experience. And it got better and better for me. I, I was yeah. a little worried in the first act. I'm not going to lie because uh, it's not my genre. So I was a little worried it would be, <laughs> uh, you know, a two hour journey of a thing that isn't for me. But sure. it really escalated in tension. It escalated in like, you know, the, the character arcs are pretty traditional, but it everyone did such a good job in them. I was compelled like. CJ had to become selfless and and I was still it worked like, uh, you know, he had to sacrifice himself and, and it worked. Yeah. So, uh, it, you know, it colored by numbered a bit, but like all movies are the same five stories, whatever they say. So it has to execute on the promise. And I think it did overall. Yeah. Yeah, no, I mean, like I, I and especially as a fan of the genre, uh, quite enjoyed this because I mean, God, that first that prologue alone I thought was a beautiful little short film. And I've I've heard, uh, again, people, you know, hold this film up, you know, certainly like we joked in the intro, like I've seen this movie checked in so many of those like ah, top 10 zombie movies of this thing or that thing. Yeah. Uh, and so, yeah, like I, I, I can see why even just based on that, but looking further beyond that, yeah, like there were aspects of this that I was curious about um, as both a fan of the Romero films, 
and also as a fan of James Gunn and Zack Snyder, and also knowing, <laughs> again, the pedigrees of both, there's just so much you come into this with going like, oh, I wonder what this will look like. And in 20 years, we've heard, you know, how good it was, and I was a little worried when it wasn't my genre that I wouldn't find, you know, the, the things yeah. that would connect me to it. And I did, though. Yeah, and it's an interesting blend. I like it. It makes you wonder about, especially... Like part of me, and I'm a big Rob Zombie fan, and one uh, criticism often levied is like, man, it would be cool if you would direct someone else's scripts sometimes. And I know that Zack Snyder isn't always like the only writer on his stuff, but having a different writer with a very distinct voice, yeah, and and who probably, you know, like it's still Zack Snyder's movie, obviously, he's still directed, but I feel like you know that's a strong voice on the script. And then you have the director interpreting that. And I was like, it made me kind of yearn for like, man, I would love to see you take on a piece that has been fully fleshed out by somebody else. <laughs> I, I definitely feel like they tempered each other. Yeah. Like, uh, yeah. like it wasn't a, a lot of gunisms and it wasn't a lot of Snyderisms. Like neither of Weirdly, them. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like yeah. that, like that one monologue definitely had flourishes of James Gunn. Uh, and then the, the couple of the slow-mo shots. And obviously Snyder does a lot more than slow-mo, but he styles his slow-mo in a very specific way. And and those moments were obviously very him, and he's grown into that even more. But overall, it was a stylized film from a writing and directing standpoint, but not in the style of the writer and director's work today. Yeah, which is so fun and fascinating. And again, it just, it I like, you know, obviously Zack Snyder's style of visual and auditory immersion is very appealing. But uh, I am kind of like, man, I wish I could see him do more things where I'm sitting there not collaborate. If I didn't Films know it was him, I wouldn't necessarily have guessed it was him. Yeah. And so like that is a fun and, and especially neat thing when you are so used to somebody's defined style. And two, coming into a genre that is very, very familiar with, you know, being rebooted and remade and referenced all the time. Horror movies, especially, I think, have a lot of that. Uh, you know, you do have your moments in here that are, uh, you know, obviously you're based on, you know, the George Romero, Dawn of the Dead, and you're taking that premise and that basic setting and you're using that. But there's also like, oh, here's a shot that looks kind of like The Shining. Here's your, you know, here's Johnny. Moment. Yeah. But even those were kept to something of a minimum where it wasn't yeah. constantly, you know, kind of nudging homage, you with homage, like, homage. look how much I love my horror movies, yeah. you know, which, which, uh, you know, Some I can have do. fun with. Certainly, but I've seen a thousand movies where like, oh, the doctor's named Carpenter and this guy's named Craven, yeah. and I'm like, I'm like, cool guys, I know, I get it, I like those movies too. But there are still moments uh, where I got to have what I imagine other people do with comic things, where I get to be like, oh, I'm excited, and it's like just for me. Like you had a yeah. few moments in the beginning where I was like, oh, is that a reference? Like yeah. it was still paying love to them, but not in an obnoxious way. Yeah, like, and then having like Ken Foray show up yeah. to, to to say the classic tagline, like that's a cool thing that you wouldn't and notice you get to do that if you didn't know it. Remakes in such a fun way. I think when yeah. remakes know they're a remake and don't lean too far in but still give homage yeah. like I love in uh, in Fright Night the Colin Farrell one um, oh I gotta see it oh, I've seen the original one <laughs> so, so yeah. uh, Chris Sarandon from the original sure. has a cameo but it's a really it's not overdone but it's really fitting and it's cool. like it's like a really it, it's similar where it's like we know we're a remake let's give a little love but it doesn't if you didn't know if you'd never yeah, seen the original you you're know. not distracted by it yeah. I hate when it's distracting this was a great example yeah. of it being not distracted yeah instead of shining a spotlight and going look see we did our due diligence and we homage the original you're, you're like we we checked the box yeah. like we we succeed yeah it's not about that and i and i appreciate Again, for as much as these do and the, the Metropolis stuff, like as much so as these funny. guys have gone on to shape pop culture at large in so many ways, like it was cool to see something like this that is very pulpy. That's yeah, like a what, very, 70, 50 million dollar maybe at best. Like yeah. A $50 million dollar zombie movie. Yeah. Maybe even less at the time this was made. Like, you know, cause mainly cause you film, just got to pay for the cast. I added you know? five million for the film stock. Sure. I could be wrong, but like film sure. is so expensive. Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and like, yeah. You need all those uh, effects and and all those gore gags and stuff too, and the Paying fire. Those extras. And, yeah, and that's a lot of people to wrangle. Like, there's a lot that goes into stuff like this, and it was fun for me because this felt very much in the tradition of zombie movies, and mm -hmm. that you know pertains to the classics, but also you know more recent stuff like twenty. I think this would be post twenty eight days later. So there's certainly that in here, and I feel like you know that. Uh, Zack Snyder is often debated in terms of like the messaging and like what the movies are about. Um, and certainly James Gunn is, is somebody who is 
I think, better recognized for bringing subtext with him. Uh, and that, that is an interesting kind of element of this. I'd be curious to go back and pick apart because the original, and it's been a while since I've watched Dawn of the Dead. Uh, you know, I have more of like a back of my hand familiarity with mm-hmm. Night of the Living Dead, which was cool. Uh, like, and, and there's, I think, a strong female or uh, like a stronger than Barbara. The first, the original Night of the Living Dead has Barbara, who is, you know, so kind of overcome by everything and so kind of actively in a state of like trauma throughout that movie. Uh, and people feel types of ways about that. So it's kind of neat to see Sarah Polly be such a just a naturally assertive character in a way that made a lot of sense. Um, But that's just a sidebar. Just like looking at the original movie, like there is, I think a renown that movie has for the fact that it was sort of a piece of commentary Mm -hmm. uh, about, you know, various aspects of American culture, certainly consumerism with the mall and all that stuff. And we didn't get enough of that. I I would have liked a little more commentary on, on something. That's the thing is, is, is I feel like there is an interesting thing to uh, not to say that there isn't any, because there's at least one moment I noticed. Yeah. He pulls down the gate and he's, he keeps telling them not to like loot the merchandise. And like, he's so concerned with the merchandise. Yeah. Which is something I thought we might get into. Yeah. And that's like, a commentative thing but I feel like m- perhaps more so than commentary and in a, s- in a scenario like this I will be more forgiving of it uh, I think we've s- kind of swapped that for the thing I think is sort of intrinsic to a lot of Zack Snyder's approach which is okay how would we d- how would we depict this thing if it was like happening in real life today right uh, and so you know just as an His superhero films this especially like he, he is yeah. definitely the guy that's going like okay let's make it real let's make or how can i show you what this real. would really look like and also like give you the attitude that you know would match our real world you yeah. know that's a little bit more rough around the edges and it's not you know pretty and sanitized for you and all that stuff and then on the writing side i do think james gunn did what he does well which is like immediately endear you to certain characters yeah like i was really impressed at how much i like cared about my mckay pfeiffer and then mckay pfeiffer kept getting more interesting so he was the right person to be making such horrible decisions like yeah. by the time you realize like you know I, I was assuming it was gonna go he's so great he's so great oh no when he dies i'm gonna feel it more instead it was he's so great he's so great oh my god he's endangering all of them because he loves his wife and like that is so much more compelling yeah. it, like you know him him willing to risk everything but him doing it smartly so he feels like it's the right move and him just wanting to be a good dad that yeah. helps. and then that face man jeez but like I love that that subverted expectations, which is what James Gunn does well. Like he builds yeah. up a thing and then you take a left. And, yeah. and I like that Ving Rhames was kind of the anchor for what you expect, but you still love that character so much. You're like, okay, good. This is going the way I want it to. And yeah. Ty Burrell, likewise, like he's going to, st- he's not going to have growth. So CJ yeah. can, because if they both stay assholes, what's yeah, the point? So totally. I, I like the writing of the characters. Not all of them had an arc because not all of them could. Because yeah. not everyone grows. <laughs> yeah. So I liked that for it. And I think that's, again, for what this is, like you can always dog something if it's not as deep as the original or whatever. But for what this is, I think it is appropriate Robocop. to take more of that. <laughs> and the, the remake tries. I'll I haven't give seen them. it still. I just know that it was renowned as not it's being not as what bad the as the first one. As the backlash would have you believe, but it's not the original. Okay. Yeah, but then certainly. again, the, the other way, Dread. Dread is a better commentary, I'd argue. The sure. new one. I'd yeah. say the new, like, so the, obviously the different filmmakers, different strokes. Yeah. And it's not that you can't. Uh, extrapolate those things but I do think it's an interesting yeah uh, uh, flip that okay in the original one you can kind of like sense the permeating nature as I recall of that you know uh, perspective happening whereas here it is more of an array of things and you are more watching sort of the petri dish of remaining humanity and how everybody copes right and, and how I, people would react depending on their nature nurture yeah and so like I really liked the ensemble for the most part like even on characters that weren't as developed for the most part I, I liked the main players at the very least like when characters would get a little flimsier sometimes it wouldn't always help uh the performing in little isolated situations it's just like you don't know uh, the the daughter character who's you know developing this relationship with the it's younger clearly security. important it'd you be know, nice to have a little bit yeah and so like you know it doesn't necessarily help that character in moments where you are kind of in some of the other's perspective like because i definitely different. judged her for going to save the dog more than i might have if i cared about her more yeah and that and that's the thing where if i had one gripe it would be that it's sort of like okay well i, I kind of want to fall in love with with these two kids young romance which is usually you know. what james gunn does so well is yeah. makes you fall in love so it was interesting yeah. like i feel like we could have used a little more time with them or or with mckay pfeiffer to go like i like Man, you a lot but like what's going on with you oh 
oh, oh. that's because it, it kind of goes like, hey man, what's going on with you? And then immediately we find out what's Just going on with back you. Just walks back and it's like, what the heck was happening? Yeah, so like I love that choice, but that's yeah an aspect where again I feel like there was probably just an economics of time they had to adhere and to. And doing it on film, they might have just not been able to film. So like just, Possibly. you know, you got to hit yeah. some marks and some, but overall like this, yeah. I, I'm not yeah. of the genre and I really had a great time with it. I really liked the characters developed. I liked the ones that did get to develop, but I, I also really enjoyed that I learned that I would not help as many people. I, I definitely, <laughs> well, there was moments where I was like, don't do that. And it was an interesting question. It's always and I, a question. I know I think I would help. But it was interesting under times of duress in the film, I got like judgmental and that's fun. Yeah. Like, that's the fun of yeah. these kind of movies is your brain doesn't know it's, it's fake. If. So I got to actually live. I was so in it. I got to live like, don't do that. Don't do that. As opposed to like, go help them. Yeah. So it was, I mean, and I don't know what I would do in real life, but I certainly judged a lot today. That, yeah. that was an immersive experience. So I yeah. uh, had a great time with this. Please let us know in the comments below what you think of the James Gunn, Zack Snyder, Dawn of the Dead. Let us know what movies you want us to watch next. As you can tell, horror fear uh so <laughs> let us know i definitely got the same like palm sweaty bones aching yeah, i got man. from 30 days a night which is nice but I in a more thing. fun way it was more joy. needle drops with a little more irony yeah. great and i mean yeah great ensemble great music great shots you know great cinematography for the Zach most Snyder part does lean not and mean get credit for his, his style when it's like it does capture atmosphere. There's yeah. a lot of really good merit to Zack Snyder's work. And then you've got uh, the creative then, James Gunn choices yeah. mixed in with that, which I'm sure, like, I would love to know what the collaboration was because I could imagine how one of them could have guided this thing solely, but I can also imagine how there's so much potential overlap for their you know, interests. It's the 20th here, anniversary. Like. I'm sure if anyone has the time that's doing nothing else, it's James <laughs> Gunn and Zack Snyder that would talk about nothing. I would love that. They would have nothing else to discuss. They would only discuss Dawn of the Dead. Because especially watching this now is such a fascinating window. Yeah. It's such a fascinating window into the into each of them in a way. And while the, like also seeds planted. Yeah, while also being so far removed from what we know of them now. Like, yeah. Uh, I'm like, way more as as much as this is like a straight ahead lean and mean you know zombie flick which it has every right to to be if it wants to you know i do think there's an interesting meta layer there that's oh, like really fun to contemplate these now. two yeah. guys 20 years later responsible for two universes separately. team back up yeah i would love to see yeah. more from a pair of them if that'll happen yeah. uh so much love reject nation like i said leave a comment leave a like leave a share do all the things we will see you very soon appreciate you watching and it shouts out to Andy because I loved him. Yeah, great. All that Andy. thing with the signs was so good. Work. Such subtle work. So good.